Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Finkner, my team Cross Nation, and for today's episode, we're going over the usual Monday update uh, for everything coming out this week. I'm also going to be covering some of the uh, last few days worth of content that, or, you know, content <laughs> that's come out the last uh, few days as well that I never actually got to talk about, such as like, you know, the avatar boards, banners, all that good stuff. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so starting off, we did receive the Illustrated Aqua B 7-star banner deal. Um, long story short, it's not worth it. You don't need to do it. To be honest, like, amongst the Tier 6 medals within the game, there's quite honestly only like a handful of actual medals in the entire game that are actually worth getting 7-star. Uh, and that's going to be Illustrated Aqua B, uh, Lingering Will, Illustrated Goofy and Donald B, uh, which were like high score challenge medals, so you can't even get those anymore. Uh, those are literally like the hardest hitting medals in the entire game, which you would want for like PvP. Sure, you do get a 7 star medal within every pull, and you do get free free skills and stuff with them, but that's practically thrown in every single banner that we get this, like, get nowadays. That it's, it's not worth going after this banner specifically. I'm assuming, because of like, you know, how greedy Senna is, uh, or Square Enix, I should say, is in terms of trying to like rake in as much money as possible uh, from the fan base. I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to try and release a tier 7 or even a tier 8 7 star deal banner at some point in the future. Maybe within the next month or so. Who knows? It very easily can happen. Uh, so I would much rather recommend <clears throat> saying to just skip this deal. And just wait for the next tier's worth of deals, uh, just because of what I just said. There's really not too many tier six medals with the game you would actually like want seven star. And even then, they get easily replaced by some other medals when the game. That it's, it's, yeah. I would just wait. Yesterday we also received the pirate avatar boards, which I'm assuming is for Pirates of the Caribbean. But I mean, like, then there was no official statement or anything, so. We're just assuming it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, but in terms of what you're getting, it is 2,500 jewels a piece for each the male and female avatar board. Uh, you get some of the usual stuff that you get in them, such as Sid medals, magic brooms, mirrors, and gems. Uh, but of course, the main thing that we care about and we want to look at are the skills. Uh, so in these avatar boards, alongside the skill perk plus two eye patch, accessory that we also get we are getting the attack boost 7 max engage 1 attack boost 7 and lux plus and defense boost 5 now to be honest i do not believe this avatar either of these avatar boards are actually worth the price that they are uh, asking for because the only actual skill with this, within the entire avatar board that's actually worth obtaining or more i should probably say actually has value uh, is going to be the attack boost 7 max and gauge 1. The attack boost 7 or Lux plus is not very good solely because of the fact it's not a max skill. Now, it's it's decent. If you're a new player and you just started the game, then sure, but I still, I still believe you shouldn't do it just because it's too expensive. You're not really getting your value uh, by making... For 2,500 jewels, you're not really getting value. Uh, as well as the fact that, like, defense boost 5 is, is not good enough for me to go crazy and like purchase this avatar board. The easiest way I can kind of explain it is if uh, if every skill had a value from zero to one, where one is like, yeah, this is a good, this this like this is a very good skill, like it has value. Um, I would give the attack boost seven max and gauge one, that would be a one, okay? That would have a value of one. Whereas the defense boost five, that would be like a 0.5. So if it makes sense, you're getting like, one and a half like skills worth of value from these avatar boards and they're asking you for 2500 jewels to me it's just not worth it and i would recommend skipping out and the accessory perk you're getting too isn't really the greatest either so you're not really losing on too much in terms of vip it's pretty much very similar to what it was last week if you purchase vip this week you are guaranteed to get a gold ticket on monday morning for next week as well but you will receive a golden ticket along with the purchase of vip and now my thoughts on this are quite literally the exact same as they were last time and how they always been which is doesn't matter how you cut it they are literally trying to get you to pay for evolution material materials 
And as a gamer, as a hardcore Kingdom Hearts fan as well, to me, this is this is insulting. Now, I will say, I do appreciate the fact that they did upgrade it from a, a silver ticket to a gold ticket. I do appreciate that, but it doesn't change the fact that they're still trying to make you pay for an evolution material <laughs> within the game. Um, and as of right now, this is the VIP is the only way you can get tickets outside of PvP, and I I don't appreciate I don't appreciate that. Now, however, if they were to include tickets outside of PvP and VIP in a free-to-play manner, such as like as a reward for uh, top parties within raiding weeks, for example. Okay, then I would be a little bit more okay with having these uh, within VIP, but having them only available within VIP outside of PvP to me that's not okay. It's not acceptable. If you don't like this as well either as a consumer or even just as a player. It is our job as players, as Kingdom Hearts fans, to continuously let Square Enix know that this is not okay. Um, I, I can kind of start seeing people already uh, falling into the trap where because of the fact it's been like nothing's really getting fixed for so long and this is Square, Enix, Square Enix's usual tactic. This is how they always do things. They are hoping that you'll do one of two things. One, that you just get so used to it, never actually being addressed, that you end up set settling for the suboptimal, okay? Or two, that you end up forgetting about it, all right? Those are the two options that they are trying to get you to do um, by just, like, trying to wait it out, like, as long as possible. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but don't you think it's fairly odd how quickly it is that they can fix bugs for VIP or address issues in terms of like medals and stuff. But when it comes to including and, and like especially when it comes to including tickets outside or like within VIP, they are pretty quick pretty quick to actually change those type of things and like, you know, adjust them. But when it comes to just simply adding uh you know, actually exciting or fun material in a free-to-play manner, they take the longest time in the world. Uh, and it's not a surprise to me. And this is what we as a community, community has been dealing with for basically the last two years. Now, granted, our situation for global has definitely improved quite a bit since, you know, the very beginning. But we the, the, the generic issues are essentially the same as they've ever been since the beginning of the game. Um, so it's our job as a community to not only not let up on letting them know what is okay, what is like the line that they cannot cross, uh, it's also our job to let them know what is okay as well. So by all means, if you don't actually enjoy this, if you don't like the fact that you're they're asking you to pay for evolution materials, not even medals themselves, evolution materials, then please continue to make your voice heard. But other than that, I'm not going to spend too much harping on this because I know I know I tend to harp on this quite a bit. Uh, but aside from that, oh, oh, I forgot to say too, uh, Square Enix, if you are watching this, I would really appreciate that that if you are going to continue doing this in VIP, um, that I would really appreciate it if you can make it a quest alongside like the VIP medals and stuff that you can actually just do and get get the ticket right away instead of having to wait an entire week uh, to get the ticket because I, I don't know about you guys watching this video but it's it's not very satisfying um, or enjoyable to have to wait an entire week when I've already purchased the product if you know what I mean like if that makes sense it just it doesn't feel good especially when I can actually be using that ticket right now for whatever quest that happened to be expiring before I get the ticket like I would really appreciate that if they could do that if they're if, assuming that they're going to continue going down having it within available within VIP but aside from that for the rest of VIP we are getting the Toon Roxas and Pals medal uh, for VIP this week along with 1400 extra jewels like usual I, I do find this medal strange for two reasons one uh, it says Toon Roxas and Pals but I, I don't see the pals. I only see Roxas, so I have, I have no idea what they're talking about. Um, the second thing is that he actually kind of sucks. He, he really sucks, to be honest. 
Uh, he is a power upright metal, tier 8, random target, 1 gauge, and has a total max multiplier at 6 star of 14.02. It deals 6 hits and for 1 turn increases the upright strength by 3 tiers, your general strength by 7 tiers, and your PSM strength by 5 tiers. It is not very good at all. Um, to be honest, like, I, I would consider the, what's it called, the Toon Santa and Roxas that we got for VIP quite a while ago. It, it, that metal right there is still vastly superior to this metal. So I'm not, like, I'm not quite too sure why they are giving us this metal. Um, one problem that I, I have been having with VIP lately is the fact that it, it just feels like most of the VIP metals that have been coming out within the game lately are just not very good. Um, these days, it it's very rare where I'll actually find VIP medals to actually be, like, usable. Um, or actually, like, consistently usable, I should say. Even to this day, I still only have a handful of medals that I feel like were actually worth uh, the VIP. Now, granted, uh, I only really get VIP just for the jewels. And for the VIP medals sometimes, depending on what the medal is. But for the most part, I only get VIP for the jewels. Because it is by far the best uh, deal in terms of pricing for jewels in the entire game. Because we, we, let's face it, we all know that the pricing in this game is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, even VIP itself, I do not believe is actually worth the value of what it's offering. Um, here in the US, VIP costs $15. Whereas, I, I, as I've known from people's comments in my comment sections and my YouTube videos and my Discord and such, uh, VIP is so much more expensive for other portions of the world. Um, in other parts, it's like $20 or $30 or $25 for VIP. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, for the value that we've been getting in VIP really, lately, it is not worth it. I don't really feel like VIP is worth it anymore. Uh, it's getting to the point where I'm honestly considering uh, just being, it's like starting to be cheap to play at this point. Where I'll be, and I consider cheap to play meaning that I am mostly free to play, but every once in a while I'll get VIP. Uh, I, I almost never actually go and buy Jewel separately. So that's what I would say about vip i do think they need to make some changes to make vip actually worth you know feel like it's actually worth getting vip uh but aside from that we are getting illustrated shion ex within vip as well kind of like how we got kairi ex last week uh my thoughts on this are the exact same as they were for kairi ex which is the fact that it's a little too late <laughs> For them to actually release this metal. In JP, they released the Kyron Shion EX VIP deals like this pretty much when along the time that they first came out. Whereas we're only getting them now when they're already not they're not exactly outdated, so like uh, but they have already been replaced, basically. And that's the problem. Uh, and Square Enix does it all the time for global. It's it's absolutely infuriating. But what I will say, though, is that if you are a new player, it is not a bad idea to get VIP this week, assuming you're okay with spending money on the game. And the reason for this is, one, you can use those 4,400 4, jewels that you're getting for VIP this week uh, to actually contribute towards the Kairi Shion EX Plus banners that are currently within the shop uh, to help Mercy it if you still need that help. Um, the second reason is you can still use the Kairi Shion uh, EX medals from VIP and still use them for PvP on other Keyblades uh, if you need them. So it's not a bad it's not a bad deal and they're still fairly good. They're still really good medals even though they have already been replaced technically by Shion or Ka and Kairi EX Plus. Um, you can still beat the majority of events. I was still beating the majority of events with just my normal Kairi Shion EX. So they're still really good medals. They're not they're not obsolete or anything yet. But aside from that, we are getting the Magic Broom Medals uh, stuff back again. The Gems deal, the Magic Mirror Quests. Uh, personally, I feel like the Magic Mirror Quests need to be way more than 7. I don't know, I just never felt like 7 was enough. But I do feel like this right here needs to change. The fact we only get 2 gems for each attribute, to me, is not enough at all. Especially for the value that we're paying for VIP. The Gem deal is, is kind of a joke. Uh, especially once you, you get your Keyblades to 35. The amount of gems that you need to actually upgrade your Keyblades past 35 is just so horrendous, especially for the actual uh, 
marginal benefit that you get for upgrading it past 35 for each 0.1 level that you upgrade it it is not worth the amount of jewels so this right here the fact we only get two jewels of each attribute for vip to me that's a joke um and i i really do feel like they need to increase that like if for this to be worth it to me they need to at least increase it to at least five gems per attribute okay five speed gems five power gems five magic gems if they were to do that then i would consider the gem deal for vip actually worth it all right so the next thing i want to talk about as well is going to be the kairi shion ex plus deals that we currently have within the shop these came out like a few days ago uh and when i have to say this is quite literally if you do not already have a kairi or shion ex plus these medals at least one of these medals for any type of player that you are, beginner, intermediate, or veteran, if you don't already have one of these medals, you should by all means try and get one of these medals. I currently just received my own copy of Kyrie EX Plus, uh, and I don't really need Shion EX Plus, but if I'm able to get it, I'm gonna try and get Shion EX Plus as well. Uh, but to be honest, I can survive off just a Kyrie EX Plus for now. I highly recommend you try and get this. To be honest, like, I, like it, they're, they're, it's to the point that we don't know when's the next time we're going to get a Mercy uh, Kyrian Shion EX Plus banner again. It's to the point right now where you can quite honestly almost skip most stuff that comes out right now just to completely single and target on uh, these banners right here. As I mentioned before, the, the seven star Illustrated Aqua B banner, that's actually right below this, okay? You can skip this, you don't need to do this. The Pirates of the Caribbean avatar boards, you can skip those. So that's that's an easy way to save some gems, or I mean, save some jewels right there. Uh, and you can just go towards that. Now, the only thing I wanna keep in mind as well is that if you are looking to try and get both Kyrie and Shion EX Plus, this is what I would recommend. I recommend Mercying as soon as possible, just one of them, assuming you don't have them already, just one of them. And then in regards to the second, I would save your jewels up until the last second uh, before actually purchasing them, okay? Or, you know, pulling for them. Uh, and this is primarily because of the fact that they are out for three weeks and we have no idea what's gonna come out in three weeks. I believe at the end of the three weeks as well, we will be, that would be around the time that the next Organization 13 event is gonna be popping up as well. Um, in which case you might wanna start saving for that instead of going for both of these. Uh, more, more banners could easily, are very easily gonna be coming out during this time period as well. Um, and like I mentioned before, you can easily survive off of just one of these. You don't necessarily need both of these. So that's what I would recommend in regards to trying to get both of them. Like you can mercy one of them right away and then start saving and wait to the last moment before mercying the other one. That's what I would suggest. Uh, one quick little tip as well for anybody out there who happens to have like Kairi EX Plus but not the Shion EX Plus for example. One trick that you can actually do within the game if you have an Axel Plus you can basically do what I'm doing right here uh, on my Diamond Dust, for example. Uh, I don't have a Magic Reverse uh, Prime Illustrated Roxas for my Magic, I mean, for my Diamond Dust. So I have to resort to other means to get in those uh, reverse buffs and debuffs. So one easy trick that you guys can do for anybody out there who has the uh, Axel Plus, and it's one of the reasons why I, I believed Axel Plus was worth obtaining because it was so good. It's because of the fact it provides the uh, reverse buffs and debuffs for the entire turn for two, or was it two for two or three turns as well, which is also good for uh, PvP. Um, but you can use them as both a buffer debuffer metal as well as a damage metal. Um, and in this case, I'm using it as a buffer debuffer metal. Now, in original setups, I would be using the first two setups, um, first two slots anyways, for my buffs and debuffs. So the fact that I, I'm using him as a buffer metal anyways, isn't really a big deal. And he's also going to be doing a ton of damage anyways, because he already has max buffs from the Kyrie EX Plus, as long as he's giving himself most of the reverse buffs and debuffs as well um, so it's honestly not a bad option uh, and this is this is like kind of like my temporary workaround towards getting the reverse buffs and debuffs on certain keyblades and such uh, so that's that's one trick you can do 
in case you have like a Kyrie EX Plus. Uh, keep in mind too that seven star medals do provide the upright and reverse uh, plus three strength when they're seven star, uh, depending on the tier level. So you can also use that like if you have a Shion EX Plus, you can still use like upright medals <laughs> that are seven star to get those upright buffs. Oh, so you can you can also do it the other way around. Granted, as of right now, prime medals are by far the best way to actually go about still obtaining these upright and reverse buffs and debuffs. Uh, but you know, these are just some subtle pointers I want to throw out there just in case anybody anybody out there needs some help. Uh, all right, so the next thing I want to talk about is going to be in the events section of the game. Uh, we're going to talk about the summer adventure real quick. And the main thing I want to point out is that if you haven't noticed already, but we have a new critical mode for the summer adventure as well. Uh, it just like with the other mode the proud and normal mode there's only four days left on it which to me is kind of unfair considering how difficult uh towards the end of critical mode actually is like i am actually struggling towards the end of it too uh even with like all the op stuff that i have but it, it can definitely be difficult towards the end you can actually skip most of the quest itself so like most of the quests are just like for Huey Dewey medal so if you don't really care about that you can also just skip them and just go to the end boss um, but there are going to be an occasional uh, quest that are actually valuable to do and I'm seeing if I can try and find one real quick so some of the quests actually have magic brooms uh, as prizes so those ones are actually gonna be worth obtaining for those of you strong enough to do it um, as well as the fact too that some quests actually have gems as rewards as prizes too so like this one has a power gem i think this one has speed and then this one has magic um, but something worth noting as well is that towards the very end of the event uh it also rewards sun and moon gems i haven't gotten to the moon gem yet but i'll put a picture up on the screen of some of my discord who uh, who took a screenshot of it but you can get sun and moon gems within this event as well uh just be warned though it is very difficult very hard uh i i still am struggling on this quest right here on day 21 two of two uh so be prepared for that it's not for everybody it's not for beginners uh, beginners might be able to get through the beginning portion maybe the beginning half of the mode um, but as you start getting past that it definitely starts becoming pretty difficult aside from that the last thing i want to talk about today guys is the fact that if you haven't noticed already or if you haven't heard of it uh, they have added a ton of more metal slots within the game in the metal album now of course i'm expecting only half of these uh, to actually be new medals and the other half just being like their seven star versions of those medals um, and there is so I'm expecting about seven medals or so because there's like 15 slots right here so I'm expecting about maybe seven new medals that might be coming out uh, within the next few weeks or so um, which more or less kind of makes sense just because of the fact that uh, JP anniversary is actually happening right now so I wouldn't be surprised along with JP that the medals that they receive for anniversary we would also like receive that seems to be the case of what's happening so far um, and someone on my discord actually managed to point it out and of to as to the possibility of what those medals might be uh, they mentioned that the Lumiere name actually got changed it's no longer just Lumiere it's actually Lumiere a now i might be mispronouncing his name i have no idea i don't care but he has, he now has the letter a next to his name which gives the indication that there might actually be a b version uh coming up fairly soon which means that we might have more beauty and the beast medals coming fairly soon as well who knows we'll see time will tell but little subtle changes like this are a good indicator all right so that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way to know when i upload more videos such as this one i would really much appreciate and would love to hear what you guys have to think about the whole vip thing and what you guys how you guys still feel about the gold tickets within vip let me know what your thoughts are on the on the subject in the comment section down below but other than that my name is brian from kinemartini cross nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.